Hey guys, it's pretty late. It's like 11.28 p.m. <laughs> Can't sleep. As you can tell, I look exhausted. Um, I did, like, went through all of my craft stuff today, all my DIY stuff, um, you know, that I need to make. Because I keep just buying stuff, buying stuff with projects in mind, and it has accumulated out of control. So, I actually have now, instead of two bins, uh, actually three bins, I have six, um, yeah, drawered bins of stuff. So, uh-huh, and I had to, you know, take a loss and throw a lot of stuff out, I just didn't have to run. So, with further ado, I have a DIY. I bought these paper lanterns, <coughs> pardon me, at Dollar Tree. It comes with this big one. Sorry about that. This big one and this little one. They kind of came in the package together. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like feather balls. I have boas. I'm going to glue the boas around the lanterns. I have two pink boas and two white boas. Um, I just didn't want so much pink because I have pink, white, and silver. So, yeah, that's what I did. And I would have bought like a white lantern, but it, it doesn't matter. So, I mean, yeah, the little one's so little. So, anyhow, so you're going to need lanterns. If you want to do one, that's fine. Two, I'm doing two. So, two, so you're going to need those from Dollar Tree. You're going to need the little feathered boas that you get there in the toy section your glue gun your glue sticks and scissors um and that's about it so i'm gonna get this going it's a pretty simple diy um you just you know gotta pay attention not to burn through the paper burn yourself um so yeah we can get this started now and i will show you what we are doing. Okay. So, I'm going to start with this one. Um, I'm going to cut. You see? It has that long rope on it at the end. I'm going to cut that right under the knot. As you can see. I cut right under the knot. So we're going to cut that, that way, you know, you don't have this big giant, uh, you know, thing sticking. Now you'll see there's a seam, I'm sorry, there is a seam, there's seams on the lantern. I'm going to pick the side seams that are, you know, adjacent to the way though, the, um, metal pieces, and I'm going to start there, um, with my my uh, hot glue, gluing my, and it's so nice because the lantern has uh, little lines that we can follow with the glue, so it makes it like so much easier, <laughs> you know, than sporadically just putting your, bolt, uh, you know, feathers on, we got the little lines here, so, you know, that works well. Um, in my house, I told you guys I've been doing, like, such a total redo, um, and it was cute yesterday, quite funny, actually. Um, I can't relate, because I've never seen the movie, but, um, my oldest daughter, which I'm surprised, watched the movie as well, um, referred to my, uh, new makeover, apartment makeover as... Um, being familiar to the movie Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> um, not quite sure what it means, she said, because they had the, uh, you know, same fur and, you know, look that I have in my house now. Um, I'm hoping it's a compliment. Um, yeah, so, because I've been doing this whole, uh, new revamp, and, I mean, I am addicted to the mirrors, I'm addicted to the bling, I'm addicted to it all. So, I'm enjoying it. I mean, I, I really enjoy the way everything in my house is coming out. Some of the things I'm unable to put away or 
paying at the moment because of uh, Adrian, my grandson. Um, he literally gets into everything. So, and because 90% of the things that I have made, uh, you know, for my house is glass and mirror, you know, it's just a little hard to, uh, you know, put it all out where it needs, where I want it to be because, you know, the baby will destroy it. You know, it's not intentional, obviously, but, you know, he sees it shiny, pretty, and just wants to touch, and so, you know, I do have, like, on my counter in my kitchen a little bit of clutter right now because I have to, unfortunately, put um, a lot of the uh, glass items and mirror items I've made, like candle holders, you know, things like that, um, on the counter, because that's the only thing that's high enough, uh, to where he can't reach it, um, you know, I went and ordered a fancy metallic -y, uh, what do you call it, material for my table, um, along with a real pretty, uh, runner to go over the metallic -y, uh, you know, tablecloth, um, and I, like, got, you know, the plastic to go over that so my kids don't destroy it, I mean, they're not little, they're all adults, but, you know, that doesn't mean nothing, so, uh, yeah. So I'm on my second boa here. So I'm going to start taking it down. You don't have to go line by line. That's not, you know, you're going to end up with having to use 20 boas and, you know, this big overly huge puffball, you know. And we don't want that. I mean, I want you to be able to not have to use, you know, a ton of boas. I bought two pink ones, like I said, for this, uh, this lantern. Um, you know, if we don't cover every single inch, like you see this with some bald spots, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Because on the other side of this, it um, did cover quite well. So I mean, it doesn't it doesn't matter. I mean, you could do it all yourself. I might even add in a white one, um, so it kind of doesn't look so odd with the little, you know, white one. I'm not sure. I think that's what I'll do. Um, to cover those bald spots, you know, see, they're not everywhere, do you see what I mean, they're just random, so maybe, you know, we could throw in, depending on the color scheme you're doing, that is, um, you know, throw in that one, I'm not sure yet how it'll look, I'll try it out, you know, uh, I'm not gonna glue it, of course, I'm gonna put it on and, you know, improvise and see if I like it or not. If I don't like it, it's not happening. <laughs> and I'll stay with the little uh, bald spots, but voila. Look at this. This little guy. Yeah, so that is quite cute. <laughs> so, I am going to see what this would look like. Oh, that would be so cute. Look at this. Yes, we're going to add this in. Definitely adding this in. I'm pretty sure uh, one of these will be just fine for that small one. I'm guaranteed it will be, because the small one's small. 
So let's add this white one in to mine. So I would suggest getting three um, for the big, the big lanterns. Um, one is perfect for, uh, you know, the small ones, obviously. But I would, yes, definitely suggest getting three. I thought two would, you know, do the job. I didn't realize that it wouldn't, so, yeah, I definitely suggest three. So, in a sense, it's kind of, I guess, good that it happened because i got to get another glue stick. Um... I think it'll look better so it doesn't, you know, throw it off. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. This just adds to everything I'm doing. It's so cute. I'm actually, um, you can hang these with, uh, ribbon. Uh, you don't have to hang them at all. You can put them on, you know, um, maybe a candlestick and, uh, or, you know, put a candlestick from Dollar Tree. Uh, or a candlestick and a small, like, candle holder, you know, vase-type candle holder, um, and set it on top of there. Um, you could also put the candlestick here with a little, and then put a push light for a lamp. Um, that would be super cute. I, myself, was going to add push lights in, um, so they could light up, you know, kind of like little clouds. Uh, that's optional, again. Um, if we were going to do it, I would suggest putting the push lights, gluing them into the bottom. I actually have the ones that clip on, and they're on, like, the metal neck. Um, so I think I'm going to add those on because you can unclip them to turn, you know, put the switch. Either way, it's up to you. Um, and you don't have to do that at all if you don't want to, you know. Alright, so I'm going to finish gluing it here, and then I'm going to do the spot on the top that needs loving. Got a little bald spot up there. So I hope you all had an amazing uh, Mother's Day. Um, I had a great Mother's Day. Um, I normally do. My kids are good to me. Uh, we had a cookout. Oop. That was messy. Um, at my oldest daughter's home. She just bought a home not too long ago. Her first house. And... Yeah, we had it there, and her in-laws came, because she's due to be married in, on the, uh, in a week and a half. So, she had her in-laws, her mother-in-law and father-in-law there, and uh, sister-in-law, you know, how it goes. So, it was a nice day. They're very nice people. Um, my daughter has a son from her first marriage, which was short-lived. Uh, they were together a few years. Um, he, that's my Jordan. He will be six in July. And she has a daughter with her new soon-to-be husband. Um, and she will be two in July. Her and her brother, my grandson, their birthdays are a day apart. Isn't that odd? very odd, but yes, they're only a day apart, their birthdays, so, that's pretty neat, I thought it was cool because, um, my kids are both, I have two July babies, and, My daughter has two, my oldest daughter has two July babies. So, then we have my middle daughter, who is a May baby, and her son is a May baby. It's, it's just kind of crazy how that happens, you know? Um, yeah. So, pretty neat. Let's see what we got going on here. 
Okay. So we get a little spot over here. And I want to lay this on. You guys, this is so cute. I saw this on Pinterest. Um, when I saw the idea, of course, I love, you know, the whole fur and look at this. Uh, no, inc incredible. Unbelievable. How adorable is this thing? I'm going to fluff my fla flowers, yeah, my feathers. Look at Voila. It is a beauty fell. This little guy looks like it's uh, falling off here. I need to help it out. <laughs> Why is it so thick there? Pardon me, guys. I need to... Uh, just fix this little piece here. So I would suggest going around, just checking it, making sure, like I am right now, that, you know, it's all holding and it's you've gotten all the, you know, pieces glued down. Um, you know, the rope. You can glue the feather suit. You have to be very careful um, because you will burn yourself. So, yes, I am loving this. Look at this. This is adorable. <laughs> How cute is this? Yeah. So that's our big one. I'm actually... My uh, feathers have shed when I cut them. And they are airbound. Okay. So now we've got... Oh, look okay, at the way over here. <laughs> so now we have... Our little one. Same process. Cut the big knot off. You really don't want that on there. That will look terrible. So, I really am sure, positively sure, we can wrap this little guy with one. Let's cross our fingers. I don't know why I thought I had... I think I do. I think I kind of smushed it, though. <laughs> uh, more of these. I bought so many of these for my daughter's uh, baby shower. Because I did a unicorn theme. And I made these amazing little baskets. I didn't do the video on them, but I do have pictures. So what I did is I used these lanterns. And um, I bought the little white wicker, you know, the metal baskets, not the waste baskets, but the other ones that look like the waste baskets. I bought those and I glued dowels to the sides of the baskets. I took the uh, handle off, of course. So I glued dowels to the sides. Um, that was quite a task. And then I glued the push lights, the round push lights that you get. They're like that big at Dollar Tree. I glued those to the this part of the lanterns on, on just on one side and uh because that helped the dowel to stay anyway so and then um i put i bought these uh wood uh unicorns little unicorns well they were like you know good size um from michael's and i glued them to the very front of the uh lantern um, and then in the baskets, I added purple and pink boas. Do you set them in type? In type. <clears throat> That's what happens for doing a DIY so late. <laughs> I set them, the uh, boas, inside of the basket. So it was it was quite cute. Um, my sister ended up taking them home with her. <laughs> My daughter just, you know, didn't want to deal with the, uh, they were gorgeous, but just didn't want to deal with, you know, having all the extra stuff. So, uh, my sister was more than willing 
to take them. They were very beautiful. I do have pictures of them. Um, sorry about that, guys. My phone went off on me. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have two parts to this. I don't know why it does that, but... So, unfortunately, um, we are going to need two boas for the small one to make it full. Um, one's just not enough. You see what I mean? We still have some spots, and we still have this. So, I believe I have an extra pink one. I'm going to try and locate that real quick, and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm in luck. I did have an extra that I put away. I'm surprised it still has any life to it because I actually had it in this thing for, gosh, I would say at least five, six months. So I'm really, really surprised it has any type of, you know, anything to it. Okay, so we're going to start. I cut already just cut the knot off of camera. So, I'm going to start putting this guy on here. You know, it kind of came out, I guess, okay. Because, you know, the whole pink and white thing. So, I guess, I don't know. There's a reason for everything, I guess. So, as I said, you're going to need three boas for the big ones. And for the smaller ones, too. Definitely. So, you have to use three for the big and you have to use two for the small or it's just not going to look right. You're going to have all these bald spots and yeah, no bueno. So I apologize guys for the false advertisement in the beginning. Trial and tribulation, we learn as we go. I've never done these so I just thought, look, ow, look it, I just burnt myself with the gun on camera. Very professional. <laughs> That's an everyday occurrence. Um, so, yeah, I've never done these either. So, you know, I guess I'm learning with you guys. Alright, I'm going to bring this guy on here. Uh, I'm going to try to do as many DIYs as I can, whether they're hard or they're simple like this one, or, you know, I just want to get them done with you guys. I've been able to, you know, do a lot of them, and this is what, you know, keeps me sane. So, uh, you know, if there's anything you guys want me to, um, try to make, or, um, you know, attempt to make, or you'd like to see me make, or make again, uh, you know, I, I would love the comments and, um, love to do that for you, um, because this channel is all about you guys, um, so yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that at all for you. I think I'm now only like a couple away from a hundred. Um, so I'm just waiting for that like to be like literally 100. So third time's a charm. I can't believe I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to try and find a way to edit these all in together. I don't think you guys are going to watch three videos of me doing a freaking feathered lantern. <laughs> Jeez, um, I don't know what's going on with my camera. Um, just keeps shutting off on me. And I erase the previous uh, videos once I upload them to my channel, so I don't understand why it keeps happening. But I'm going to try my best to try and piece. I don't have an app because I'm so not computer savvy. So I don't have an app on my phone. I did, I tried a couple of them, but, yeah, I don't know how to, like, edit the stuff in and all that, so it was pointless to have those things. I, I tried it, I attempted it, just didn't work out, so I didn't find the need to, you know, use them. 
I will try though to see if I can get these videos all in one. Um, look at that. All done. That's our small one. How cute are these guys? Adorable, adorable, adorable. I really enjoy that they're, you know, pink and white and the whites just sporadically in there like I did it. On the, I love it. Absolutely love them. They're adorable. I'm so glad I did them. Now, you do have these metal things here still. So you can use um, twine. You can use um, nautical rope. You can use bling wrap. Um, you can use the, I mean, anything. Anything. Any type of lace, uh, yarn. It doesn't matter to hang them. Um, I particularly, I think I'm just going to leave them as is and use bling wrap. Um, and it'll be silver bling wrap, um, of course. So I'm going to use um, silver bling wrap to hang them. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. And I will... Okay, guys, so I apologize for the camera to keep shutting off. I am going to get it all put, imported together. Um, anyway, I just wanted to say that the finished products are here. There's a small one. Here's the big lantern. Again, do it in a on a candlestick as a lamp. I'm going to hang mine. Appreciate you guys for watching my video. You know, it was painstakingly a little bit long. Um, love you guys. If you are a subscriber, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. If you're not a subscriber and you're watching my video, I appreciate you. Please subscribe. Um, and remember, guys, hit the notification bell so you are notified when I upload a video. Um, okay, thank you guys so much for your support. Love you guys. God bless you. Have a wonderful night. Bye.